was a girl saying to her friend, I don't care, I'll suck a million dicks and you're going to respect me. Which was confusing. Um, just a couple of things I thought about that. The first one is I just don't know what's going on outside that bit of the conversation. And the second thing is I would respect you for sucking a million dicks. That is so many dicks. It's, it's, a, it's so many, you guys. I don't, I just on a time management level, I respect you. Do, do you know what I, I just like, she'd have to find methods. She'd be doing it all day. She'd have to like tie them all together in bunches and just all at once. Just like, like you know how asparagus is packaged at the shops? Like just, oh, just all the time. And I just don't know when is she, when does she find the time to eat? She'd get a lot of protein, but I mean, she'd have to like, you have to just open a factory of just, just dicks, just dicks in the factory that's like a windmill of dicks just going into your mouth constantly. She'd have to like, like a catapult that just shoots them into your face and then they fall off into a tray and it's like a mass grave of dicks. It just stressed me out. And I went over and I said to her, you need to start now. You're never going to get it done otherwise. And the only person stopping you is you. <clears throat> Um, so I'm trying to uh, be kind of healthier just uh, in life. And the reason is mainly because um, I saw a picture of Macaulay Culkin from now. And he looks like an old candle. So <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to make that not happen to me. And it's just annoying because I'm very, I just get broken all the time. Just uh, there's always bruises and just scabs. And I'm like, I don't know. It's just like, and they really annoy me, mainly scabs. Cause like, if I get one on my elbow, it just feels like it's your body going, oh, you hurt me. I'm gonna put on a hat till I stop being sad. I don't like that. This is the, I just want to. I just want to get like uncomfortably muscly. I want to get like horribly strong, like strong enough that I can just punch my own head off if I want. You know what I mean? I just want to. Oh, yeah, I can do push-ups with my breath. Like, <laughs> I just want to. I just basically I want to look like something, because I just don't now right now. I don't know, I know I'm a person, I know that much, but like apart from that, it's kind of, I'm just sort of a gateway to homosexuality for both genders, you know? <laughs> so much. Yep, the applause was hurtful. Um, um, this is the thing, I, I think I kind of, maybe I have like a bit of a sad shit face because like a, most, of my, most of my conversations with my friends start with them being like, you're already upset, are you sick? Is there something I can do? Can I help? Can I help you? It's just my face. It's just my horrible face. So I'd change it if I could have trapped. I can't do anything about it. And they say things to you like, hey, you know, it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. Really, I hope you're fine with your fat, happy face. Mine's getting freaking ripped. <laughs> My face is going to be able to bench your face. <laughs> so um, I just want to say uh, one last thing to you guys. And um, it's, you know, you can uh, holler for Dyson Airblade hand dryers. <laughs> yes! They're the best. Why wasn't it always like that? I just, I love them a lot. And I just wanted to, um, just completely wreck everything <laughs> is what I wanted. Is this still, yep. So uh, Dyson Airblade hand dryers, I really like them because, uh, you laughing because I'm on my tippy toes? <laughs> I haven't worked out how to use this mic stand. <clears throat> so, <laughs> Uh, you know when uh, you're using it and you're putting your hands in and out like that and just drying off your little fingies? Um, do you feel like you're fisting a ghost? <laughs> Thanks very much. I've been Debbie Lardner. <laughs>